Also, my bone is I'm picking. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Weapons. So, any sort of weapon that is... Um, either two one-handers with an elemental hit, or one weapon with a burst, you said? Yep. Alright. Uh, one second here. short sword for my weapons? You can. What do they look like? Uh... Oh, actually it went to Lissandra first, but she'll go after you. Okay. Um... Actually, I would like two short swords, actually. And... Okay. Do you know what... Uh... Here, let me... Let me... Find a picture here. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty good picture. Do you know what ebony looks like in, uh, uh, Morrowind? Back here, I'll link a picture for you. Um, is it similar to what it looks like in Skyrim? Uh, not exactly. Here. This is kind of a low-res image. But, basically this higher resolution and not as long, because it's a long sword. Why did I have the 6 okay. times 3 for... And, uh, I would like... Elemental is um, 1d6, right? 1d6 damage, uh, and with the item compendium or whatever, you can get an amount elemental damage of any type but force. I would like one to be fire and one to be cold. Okay. So it's plus one plus the 1d6 elemental damage, that's what those are? Yep. Okay. Thank you very much. Sandra gets a light crossbow with icy burst that looks like that. What's this? Hmm. Okay. Can I, like, sell my other... Well, we'll save that for later. Um, and that moves on to Grizz. Grizz! Um, Grizz is going to get a Dwarven War Axe, and he wants it to be, uh, like, he wants it to look like this one. <laughs> Oops. He's in the same website. <laughs> What, are you just getting the axe? Uh, yeah. And what kind of burst do you want on it? Is this is just an element? Yes. Uh... FIRE! Okay, so what Burst does is it does an additional d6 damage, and if you crit, it deals an additional d10. Okay. That moves on to Oberon. It is I? I think I want, I don't know. I think I want a cool new shield. What kind of shield can I have? You can have me scrolling down a few pages so I can tell you what you can have. Uh, 
you can have a buckler, a light wooden shield, a light steel shield, a heavy wooden shield, or a heavy steel shield. Mm, oh, I think I... Hold on, sorry. My thing gets stuck. Uh, I already have a light steel spike shield. So. Um, also, do you have oversized two-weapon fighting? I have 200 weapon, but I don't know. We didn't pick my feats yet, so... Okay. I mean, if you've got the ability to get oversized, you're probably going to get oversized. If oh, that shoot. works for you. Um, getting oversized... What are the requirements on oversized? Um, like a certain amount of dexterity and two fighting. It's really easy to get. Well, right. I have two handed fighting, but I don't think I only have, uh, my dex modifier is two. Uh, then that'll be fine because you need like 13 dex to get it. So. Okay. Um, so. so you will be, if you take oversized two handed fighting as your feet, you will be able to take a heavy shield with no penalties. Okay. Well, can I take a steel shield then, the big one? Yes, you can take a heavy steel shield. That okay. has plus 2 AC instead of plus 1 AC, and the weapon damage, I believe, gets upgraded. Is this one also going to be spiked because we did put a spike on her other shield? Yes. Okay. Um, yes, the spiked heavy shield deals a D6 of damage instead of a D4. I think we had her spiked shield doing a d4, or a d6. It did d6 times 2 crit piercing oh. damage, is what it said. Okay. Well, it so. still does that. What kind of element do you want on it? Um, I don't know. What are the elements to pick from? Uh, Christ, there are a lot of them. Can Okay, wait, wait, here, I'll narrow it down. Uh, is there one that involves plants or earth? Um, there's an acid element. That's just random. <laughs> which is sort of planty and has. You could do of... Sonic. Like Sonic. Can I have one that has a bird? <laughs> yes, you can have a fire one. Okay, I want a burning ability. Oh, uh, we're gonna. Okay, so you will burn get everything a down. Fire elemental on that, so it will deal an additional d6 fire damage. And are you oh. going to get a second weapon? Hold on. I can get a second weapon? One second. I need to write this down. So, another d6 plus what for the uh, burn damage? The burn damage is 1d6 fire damage. Okay, 1d6 fire damage. Bear, these were plus Earth? one weapons, right? Correct. Okay. And then, um, I guess, can I have a new gauntlet? You can have a new spiked gauntlet. Okay. I want a new spike gauntlet. And what kind of element do you want on that? Ah, uh, fire for that one too. So the okay. same thing? Yep. And then do I change the d4 piercing damage? No, that doesn't change at all. Okay, cool. Do do. Hey, Wood. Oh, yeah, what do they look like? Oh, um, the big shield looks like a really angry triceratops. And Okay, the, I'll actually like, let that happen. Yeah, like I mean, I guess it kind of resembles right there. It's, it's not, not like cartoony, like no, it's, it's like as action. realistic as it can be. Pretty well, much, that's what the spikes actually, are. Is there any uh, special kind of style you want to it? Like, do you want it to be like a Nordic style or an Elven style or what? What would, what would be an Elven style? It would be like really graceful and fancy looking. Probably more Nordic then. Okay. And then the gauntlet, uh, yeah, it's just got a bunch of spikes on the hand and it has fire patterns on it instead of just being straight up metal. Okay. Hey, Wood. Um, All of your sweet. weaponies. Do I, do I get two? Uh, you can. Okay. Um, I guess what I will do then is I will get a I get I guess I'll just get a a new sickle um okay. but instead of like a normal like normal blade 
Its blade is going to be kind of lightning-y shaped, because I'm still kind of going after the whole Heronius thing. Okay. Um, and is there, like, a holy elemental damage? There isn't. No? Bummer. Actually, um, you can get it enchanted with healing, so that it heals the person for a d6 of damage. <laughs> We're going to slice one of us with... <laughs> um, let's... Let's not do that. As much fun as that sounds. Do that for your other weapon. <laughs> for my crossbow? Yeah. No, that'd be bad, because you'd probably deal more damage than you can. <laughs> um, like, at, le at least with the sickle, at, 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 the, at the worst, I would just not heal anybody. And I would just, like, hit you with it, and nothing would happen. <laughs> No, at the worst, you would heal them for one and deal six damage. So you'd deal five well, damage to the yeah. person you were trying. Yeah, that's to. true. That's true. Um. Okay, well... Shit, man. We'll have it do electrical damage then, I guess. Okay. So I'll just go to my sickle here, and I'll do 1d6 electrical Trickle damage, um, and then like the handle is gonna be like a purpley color, I guess, because Haywood likes purple. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to change the crit modifier to not times three, but times two, because that's what the player's handbook says. It is indeed. Uh, purple lightning. Sickle. So are you and Lysandra going to bond over the fact that you both like the color purple? Apparently. Um, and then for my crossbow, I'm going to... Is there anything that's still considered a, a simple weapon that's better than a light crossbow? You could get a heavy crossbow, but those take a full turn to reload. Is there a way to circumvent that? You can take rapid reload as a feat, and it will only take a movement action to reload. I might do that, okay. but actually no. I'm just gonna stick with a light crossbow, and What's it look well, like? my guy is not really meant for combat. What's it look like? It's it's purple. And... <laughs> <laughs> this one's going to be the purple color that my pants are. Okay. And the sickle is going to be the purple color that my chest piece is. Okay. And this is going to deal a bonus. What, what elements do we have? We have, like, three fire weapons, right? We have a bunch of fire weapons, two cold weapons, and a... You have a shock weapon. Then that oh. is what we currently have. Is there a place that has, like, a, a list of all the elements? Because I might want to change mine. It would uh, make sense for this to be shock, but okay. I don't know if I want it to be shock. Yeah, what are the elements? Um, D&D 3.5. Energy elements. types is what it'll be. Energy types? Hello, Yukon. So I need to look up energy types then? Yep. On here it says there's five. Acid, cold, electricity, fire, and sonic. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, yeah, I'll stick with fire. Sonic? It does sound damage. Loud noises. Okay, I want to change my shield to do sonic damage. Can I do that? Yes. It's gonna scream at people. It has a mouth. Um, maybe... <laughs> well, I mean, it is a triceratops, so yeah. Okay, so what's the d the damage for sound damage then, it's Bear? It's still a d6. It okay. just changes the energy type, which may or may not have an effect. Like, if you're fighting a fire elemental, then hitting it with fire doesn't do jack shit to it. Acid other than maybe healing. Like fire, sonic. Yeah. Um, that's what shields for. The, it's a scream. The bow is gonna have like on on like each like end that like pulls back. One's gonna be like the 
Paylor and the other one's gonna be the chord symbol. Okay. Cause Haywood's all about all them goodness. Um and it's it's gonna be like purpley color. There's gonna be some like fine like I guess bluish like detailings. Okay. And it's going to be Let's just make it Sonic. Or not Sonic, electric. That's, I'm stupid. 1d6 electrical damage. Okay. We did it. Okay. So, Tyrion, it finally gets around to you. So all these are plus one weapons as well as being an elemental, right? Correct. Okay. Ooh. Um, That's important. I would like my longbow, my composite longbow to look like this. Sorry. And, um... I think plus one means that, like, it's plus one to damage, but not hit. Uh, no, well, in order to be plus one, it has to be masterwork, so it has plus one. Okay. Wait, where does it go? It's... It just... In your weapon and stuff, just make note somewhere that it's plus one. So it's plus one to hit and damage? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Jeez. And I want my longsword to look like this. And I want them both to be acid damage. Okay. Yeah. We have so... a sonic shield. Electrical sickly bows. Cold, whatever Lysandra has. And Whoa. my fire axe. And Kyle has fire a cold sword, short sword. So, while everything is getting situated, a courier comes in at some point in time and gives a letter to Lysandra. Man, these couriers are magical, just kind of knowing where we are. Yeah, it's almost like it's a conspiracy, and they might be tracking you. <laughs> oh, okay. I wasn't thinking that before, but... <laughs> now you are. Okay, now I might be. Can I d trade my old short sword to these guys, or do I have to go somewhere else to sure. do that? Are you done with it? Uh, you, can, you, you have to go somewhere else to do that, but presumably it will be um, really easy to do, because this is a trade city. Uh -huh. So it's like all of our armor basically worth the same thing, even though I had full plate, which is like obscenely higher value um, on that thing. It ends up rounding to about the same thing, just because what's really expensive about it are the enchantments. Right. So I thought. We do get that plus two deflection bonus, though. Yes. Deflection is a... So you guys get your armor and your weapons. The leader um, sort of ushers you out of the crafty area and back to the main hall and sort of escorts you to the door. And they're like... So... Give consideration to my offer. Uh, the guards and the receptionist will know who you're here for um, if you come back. So Roger, Roger. we will remain in contact with one another. She sort of closes the door. <laughs> Fucking creepy now. It's a little creepy. <laughs> We're so, just standing outside the door, still. Oh. So, once you guys are outside the door, Lysandra kind of looks to guard people. And... Is there anybody standing next to her? To Lysandra? Yes. I would be. Okay. Yeah. So she sort of whispers to Oberon. 
she's like, let's get away from these mage guard creeps and uh, I've got something to tell the group. Indeed, oh. we shall take our leave. Okay. Certainly. So, Why certainly? Um, like, I guess you guys are walking around the market looking for things to uh, sell your old gear to. By the way, all of the old gear sells for 70% of what its purchase price is. Oh god. I don't know what a thickle or studded leather armor or anything it's is It's not super important right now. You can look it up later. Okay. But as you guys are walking around, Lissandra says, so the letter I just got uh, is from my old commanding officer. And apparently they have an operation in the area that they use my help for. And apparently it's at the major ruins that we visited earlier. Mage uh, ruins. You mean the one the... where we punched in people's faces? Yeah, the one with all of the robots. Where we sent oh, Katarina? Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't present for that one, right? Uh, you, you weren't, were... but you knew where the ruins were, and you came in at the very end. So okay. Yeah, I remember I, cle I, like, stabbed a guy and ripped his death out of his yeah. yeah, it was pretty great. Um, so you'd still know where it is. Okay. Apparently, uh, they've been asking around, and they know that I'm traveling with you guys. So, if I decide to go help them, you're invited to as well. <gasps> I thought you were kicked out of the army because your dad is a Durgan! Why would you go assist them once more? My father was not a dragon. That happened... Many, many generations ago. Um, but just because I was kicked out of the military doesn't mean that I don't still have loyalty to some of the people for whom weren't responsible for my discharge. Um, that, that came out super wrong. Well. <laughs> I didn't say anything, I just let you go with it. But you know what I mean. I suppose so. Um, it's not well, it's not something that I'm going to uh leave to do cuz they did kick me out and been having a pretty good time with you guys. But it's another opportunity on top of what we've already had introduced today. Was there take... any Oh, go ahead. No, I was done. Oh, okay. Was there any other information provided other than the location of which they were working? Uh, they didn't specifically say what it is other than it was something that they think uh, my expertise would be helpful on and that we'd have more information when we got there. I see. Oberon's going to put his hand on Lysandra's shoulder and just say, Just remember, be loyal to only those who would stand up for you. And then kind of like mysteriously walk into the background. <laughs> he just, just, uh, just like, like, the best of doing this thing. <laughs> well, personally, I mean, ooh, a there's a lot to consider doing. So, personally, I feel it might be worth reporting back to Edison and at least telling him what happened, seeing what leads he might be able to give us so that we may take care of any other things going on in this region and help this region, um, and possibly reconvening with these mage people they seem to be most of them seem begrudging toward us but the got some leader nice shit. Or, at least, <laughs> or at least the person who ha helped us receive our new stuff 
seems to have an interest in having us help them. And I feel that helping them will help us, or will give us more opportunities to help this region be rid of evil, like, happenings. Um, I'm not opposed to going and checking out the stuff from your group, if that's what the rest of the group would like to do. It's not like we can't come back to do these other things. Keep in mind, uh, the letter from Nalaser that we all overheard, seems like there is some goings-on out of the country as well. So... Indeed. There's a lot of different opportunities here. Lysandra, did this letter seem like an urgent matter? Like they needed you at the immediate action? I couldn't really tell. Um, it seemed like they couldn't progress if I wasn't there, I guess? But it didn't seem like they were in any immediate danger. And I mean, if they're at the ruins, then they have Katarina there. I guess I don't entirely understand why she wouldn't be able to help. Well, if, if we were to head know. north to meet up with Cat Lady, we could stop there on the way. It would be kind of neat finding out more about those runes. Um, my my stance does remain about the same, though. These mages seem uh, very Sketch City Central to me. I would prefer not to deal with them further. <laughs> I prefer to also cut our ties. We have gathered our prizes. Even though they didn't give us any money, this shield is quite shiny. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, so with fucking shiny, like holy shit. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with uh, abandoning our relationship with these Mage Guard people. I mean, I kind of got what I wanted from them anyway. Yeah, let's help Lissandra out on her quest. That seems fair. Seems as long as there's money involved. <laughs> She did not mention anything about a specific reward. No, I know. I'm just being... You know. <laughs> so... Just being... You know. So you guys said you uh, wanted to check in with Edison before making a decision? Yeah. Yeah. I, I would not mind checking in with sure. Edison. Sure. We, well, I mean, it's good to tell him, like, what we did anyway, so... Okay. He is our bro. He was our original, I don't want to say employer, but the person told us to go deal with that problem, so. He did give us the lead that led to us coming to these people who provided us with some nice things. So, I'm looking for music. Guys, here we are. Guys, after selling all your crap, which can be figured out at a later date. Yeah, I can sell that sword and shit later. No, move, stupid bitch. Shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys wrap up your dealings in the city, and what way do you want to go to get to Reese? Uh, we've gone up through here before, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, because that's where the ship was. Yes. Other than going way the fuck around through Mikakoro and Caracas, um, there really hasn't been a route that you haven't taken. Uh, unless uh, somebody thinks we need to stop in Rami, we should just 
book it. Which one was the place with the chocolate milk? Gaddock. There's Gattic. a CM on the map. The one that's marked with CM. And, uh, and what day is it? <laughs> that's so it's out of the way. <laughs> it's, it's currently Sunday. Ah, oh, we missed the chocolate milk. <laughs> That's All some right. fast letter services, because the cat lady had chocolate milk, and she wrote about it in her letter. They, yes. like, stole chocolate but, milk, yeah. though. She coerced them to give the chocolate Oh, so he did have chocolate milk the other days of the week. He's just a, a bastard. Just doesn't yeah. sell it. But then the milk goes bad. <laughs> what I a mean, fuck, bud. They could have, like, a system. You don't know him. Fucking bartender Well, they could have bitch. random mages in the back doing shit, I guess. That's true. <laughs> it might not even be chocolate milk. It might be, like, magic milk. <laughs> magic <laughs> milk. Anyways. Um. Where do we... Do we know where Edison is? He's here. Uh, every other time he's been in the place. You visited him at the tavern. He has a room there that seems to be his permanent residence. Okay. Well, if it's on the way, we said we were visit. We were gonna stop by him. Yeah. All right. And that seems good to me. I say we go here, then we go here, then we go here. Okay. <laughs> everybody? Sure. He's good. Actually, you get to keep that music. Um, yes. Uh, this is a banger. Wow. Okay, you guys are in the sink. It's like the middle of the day. Keep going. Boop, 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 boop. You arrive. Greece. Yeah. There appears to be um it's not as active as it usually is. But it's pretty late at night at this point. So do we head to our uh or the tavern where the tavern. Presumably where, uh, yes. Stuff, words. Are people uh, like walking around or is it it's well, pretty it's late, late. At, it's really late at night um, you don't uh, really see many people there are a couple shady looking characters but they kind of avoid you because um, at this point y'all look y'all look like trouble um, with your new armor we look badass yeah pretty much um, Even me? <laughs> not so uh, much. Less <laughs> no, you still have a gay sort of thought, but, uh... <laughs> um, but you're surrounded by people who look like you don't want to mess with. Fair enough. Uh, the weather is... It's, like, misting. Spoon? Um, I mean, I vote that we just head to the tavern that's got Edison. Yes. Sounds good. Sounds good to I. Yeah. Certainly. So we head to the tavern. The tavern. Okay, you're at the tavern. You go in. We... I... Haywood... <laughs> Haywood goes in. We knock. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you go into the tavern. It does appear to be open. Um, and you die! <laughs> oh. oh, okay. <laughs> what a twist! Oh, okay. oh you're well, dead. There's twelve oh. liches here for a gathering of lichdom. <laughs> They're having tea and crumpets, and we walk in. They sense Haywood's goodness, and they just murder him. How did you know? Um, no, that doesn't happen. Haywood uh, stands got no a whole lot better. You get to make no plans. I die. The bar is there is much rejoicing. <laughs> There's like one person and the bartender. Haywood's just going to kind of wave at the bartender and then make his way towards uh, Edison's room. Okay. We 
you didn't bring cheese in our finest tanker to fail. <laughs> How many times has he told us that we don't need that anymore, but we keep bringing it? I'm gonna ask the bartender if he has any cheese. Or is that um, we can purchase. I mean, we've already kind of determined that Edison's sort of a dirty slut for cheese. He's a dirty slut. <laughs> he does. Uh, he sells you a wheel of goat cheese. Uh -huh. It costs a gold. Alright. That's an expensive. It has goat cheese. Alright, push it up the stairs. It's not <laughs> it, it, you don't need to push it. I remember oh, no. uh I at the beginning of like the first episode, Grizz brought in like two huge wheels <laughs> to cheese. Yeah. Push it around. Yeah. So you go to Edison's me. room. Make a spot check. Wait, did we just walk into it? No, you're at the door. Okay. Do we, we all make spot check? Yes, yeah, so all of you make spot check. Okay. I see nothing. Holy shit. <laughs> like staring at the wall. So. Everybody but Oberon notices that the light is not on. I'm about to bust up in <laughs> Haywood says, perhaps we should maybe wait till morning and speak with him. I wouldn't want to disturb Edison. He seems like a rough waker. I have no idea what you're talking about. Let's go knock on the door! You haven't- I mean, you do not know you until we wake him. Have you never heard the old proverb, you don't wake a sleeping bear? He is my literally- all the time! <laughs> but then again, but I she kind of looks at you with disbelief. <laughs> Oberon is part bear. Indeed! I always woke mother up when the villagers entered the forest with their pitchforks and their torches. So we can move to the next cave. Freddy wants to know about bears in his overrun. Oh my gosh. I mean, like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of getting to the end of my abilities. Like, as a person? <laughs> yes, as That's a person. That's pretty sad. I do have to work early tomorrow. Okay, so... Uh... We'll skip formalities, then. You talk to Edison whenever you talk to Edison. He tells you that he's lying low because, um... The Baron military is in the country and he doesn't like them. Um... Y'all can make a knowledge history roll to see why, if you want to. Sure. Overone doesn't know jack shit about history. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> Suddenly, I'd roll a twenty and know everything. Wait, what are we rolling this on? Knowledge, knowledge history. history. Yeah, about what? Um, <laughs> why Edison doesn't like the Baron military. Gotcha. Is Oberon going to roll? Oberon has no care for history. If you dislike the... someone, you dislike them. He's what still... was the modifier on that? Intelligence. Uh, intellect. Oh. And I have no so I've got 16. I I can... Okay, so... Everybody but Haywood... See? I told you! Yeah, everybody but Haywood... Um, knows that... Haywood knows that bear can come from Baron. Um, imagine that. Uh, everybody else knows that, um, there's been a long civil war between the Imperial, um, Baron military, uh, and the, uh, native Bearkin clan tribe things. Uh, 
so yeah, he tells you that he's lying low and he doesn't have any leads or jobs right now. Uh, he's kind of disappointed that you didn't bring anything back from the Necro Boner cage, cave. Uh, and so he doesn't have any reward for you because he doesn't have anything to fence for you. Um, so, here are your decisions. Um, because one needs to be made. Mm -hmm. You can either go on Lissandra's quest and check out the magical ruins with the Baron military. You can side with the Mage Guard, and their two available things are there's either an assault on the White Mantle base or an assault on a Bandit base, or you can meet with the other group in the south where you can either enter the tournament or accompany Nalasair on whatever her errand things are. Uh, Those are uh, your five options. Uh, oh. I vote for the tournament. Wait a minute. I did want to do Lissandra's thing, but the tournament sounds juicy. Could we do the tournament and then do the Lissandra's thing? Theoretically, yes. This tournament that, that sounds seems very similar to a different uh, thing that we had going but on. But do you remember how awesome it was? <laughs> it, was it was so awesome. sick! It was I, great. I vote to go to the tournament to see Nalisair and then help Lissandra with her thing afterwards. Yes. Like, these are... It's a presumption from the letter that it will still be available. There are timetables on these things, but I'm not telling you guys, because that would ruin the fun. Okay. So know well, that if you choose one thing, any of the other things might become unavailable. Well, I say the tournament. Yeah, let's make sure we go to the tournament then. So I we think. have two votes for the tournament. Three votes for the tournament. Okay, that's a majority, so... <laughs> to the yeah. tournament! Yeah, that is. <laughs> yeah, because yep. Hay Haywood sees little purpose in going to said tournament, but if that is the majority's vote, Haywood around all what can the you do? macho There's man. There's a cash prize. A cash prize. If you cash. win, if you win, presumably if you lose, you guys are just shit out of luck. With all this fucking and possibly deaths, die. Yes. Ha! Oberon is never a loser. I remember the so, tournament was all of us against them, and I wonder if it's just be singles this time. That's a good question. I guess you'll find out next time. Well, I'm yeah. Land Pirates, the musical! Musical! <laughs> <laughs> Squiddly doo. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's you guys have chosen <laughs> to meet up with the other group in the south and enter the tournament. 